Hello and a very warm welcome. Your spa preview round 14 of the F1 season as F1 heads to one of the most iconic tracks on the calendar. This is one of my favourite weekends. This track is absolutely amazing, honestly. I don't know, it's up there with Silverstone. Picking between Silverstone and Spa is very difficult. The history around this circuit. And this track is easily the best track to drive on the F1 game. It is so good. Epic track in the Arden Forest. Uh, let's jump into the preview. We will have 44 laps. One of the longest laps on the calendar. Although, given the speed of the cars, it's actually got quicker and quicker now. Um, two DRS zones. Um, one down the start finishing line. And one coming out of Eau Rouge, Radion. I mean, look at the corners around this track, you know. You've got La Source, Radion, Eau Rouge, Kemmel Strait, Pouon, Blanchemont. So good, honestly. Iconic, exciting, thrilling and challenging. Although Eau Rouge is a bit too easy now, if you ask me. We've had uh, a lot of hype around this track Always seems to um, be under scrutiny to take off the calendar. I mean, if you take off Spa off the calendar, you may as well put F1 in the coffin. This is one of the best tracks of all time. It really is. It's not too dangerous, this track. I don't want to hear it's too dangerous. It is not. They have took the gravel traps away. Um, yeah, so Eau Rouge is easily flat now. It was a challenge back in the day. Um, yeah, best track was Silverstone. Um, yeah, emotional one as well. Obviously, when we come to Spa, we have to remember Anton Hubert, uh, the F2 driver who sadly lost his life. Gasly will be paying. Um, yeah, it's always a touching moment that when Gasly placed flowers um, where the incident happened. So, let's jump into it. We've got a couple of talking points ahead of this weekend, and I'm going to cover some. Red Bull. Now, we need a reaction by Red Bull. They've looked pretty ropey the last couple of rounds. They really need a response. Max was completely lost his head in the last round. I don't know. Red Bull really need to talk into him, because, yeah, he lost his head. Sergio needs to do better. Uh, Spa. The weather is unknown. I mean, it's in a forest, so, you know, the weather can change in an instant. Of course, it's going to rain at some point at Spa. It always does. Alpine. Now, they need to get on top of their reliability issues. Uh, they really do. I mean, I honestly feel so bad for Gasly. Twice in a row, he's had to retire due to reliability issues. Next talking point, McLaren, their form. Honestly, fastest car at the minute, but somehow they <laughs> seem to make the headlines. I'm actually kind of glad we're doing a preview today. I'm not talking about McLaren's shit woes, uh, because I've done so many videos about McLaren. Ocon, announcement. Now, he should be signing for Haas F1, and an announcement should be coming at Spa. Kevin Magnussen's parted ways, Ocon. We'll take that Haas seat. We've covered that. We're waiting for the announcement. Um, my next topic I've got written down. Huge questions regarding Lando Norris. Yeah. Mentally, can he lead the team? Um, starts are a massive issue. I would say there's huge questions surrounding Norris. Whether he can handle it at this level. Last race before four weeks off. So it's a big race. Um, yeah. Obviously in the summer break. I'm expecting Checo to be replaced. Another talking point was Benotto. Yesterday uh, he's going to go to Audi. As Seidel will leave. And Aston Martin massive frustration. Real frustration. So yeah. Let's run down the teams coming into this weekend. Red Bull. They need a reaction. They really need a win. McLaren are putting the pressure on. And Red Bull, I don't know, they're not looking good. McLaren are in the form team. 
Ferrari could really do with finding some pace. I mean, the illegal Ferrari should be coming out where they miraculously gain a second mid-season. Mercedes, now they've looked uh, promising. Um, yeah, they keep getting podiums, they keep getting podiums, they're looking a lot better. Aston Martin, there's massive frustration there. The car's not good. Uh, they lie fifth in the constructors in no man's land, really. Alonso, really angry. Um, yeah, at Hungary. Racing Bulls, um, yeah, frustration for Daniel Ricciardo. Will he get replaced in the summer break? Sonoda scored a point. Haas, no points for them at Hungary. They could do with scoring again. Alpine need to fix their reliability issues. It's shocking. In 2024, having that many reliability issues. Gasly doesn't race at Silverstone. Barely gets to race at Hungary. It's unacceptable. Williams. Now, they could go well round here with the long straights. But, yeah, they've not had a great season, Williams. And with the unknown weather, maybe a possibility for Sauber finally to score. Valtteri Bottas did look a bit sharper at Hungary. But yeah, as you can probably tell in my voice, I am buzzing for this one. Spa is an iconic venue. Must stay on the calendar. I think it's got a contract till 2025. They, they'll be all out. Oh, Spa's too dangerous. The ticket prices, the inflation. We must replace it with a street circuit around Brussels. No, no. We need Spa. It's iconic. Go to a driver. No matter who it is, Sonoda, Joe, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Hamilton, Max, give me your f three top tracks. Probably Silverstone, Japan, and Belgium. Or maybe Silverstone, Monaco, Belgium. Whatever. But this is going to be in their top five. If you don't like Belgium, stay at home. Because it's one of the best tracks of all time. Overtaking opportunities, brave overtakes into Eau Rouge. Look at the history. 1998, we had a pile up at the start. Oh, they'll stop the race. They'll stop the. Oh, oh, this is one of the worst starts I've ever seen in my Murray Walker epic comment today. Mark Webber, Alonso, overtaking into the bottom of Eau Rouge. Epic moments. Over the top of Radion. And you had David Croft. Here comes Sebastian Vettel. Just epic moments. Uh, the famous one between Brittany and Lewis. Lewis ignored team orders the race before. Brittany gave Lewis a puncture uh, as payback. Just epic moments. See many round this track. I, honestly, I cannot wait. I'm absolutely buzzing. As usual, we would do qualifying reaction, race reaction, driver ratings before a month off. Bring it on. I am buzzing for this one.